Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the Virtual Goddess Channeling and Alignment Circle. I'm so happy to be with all of you today. And today is a very powerful day because we are entering into this new moon in Libra. And Libra is a vibration of balance. And the new moon is all about shedding the old. And, and, and there is a time there of uncertainty, of darkness, of even chaos, as the old is unraveling and dismantling. And then we are recalibrating and then coming into present time or coming into alignment with the present moment in an empowered state, in a new frequency. So this circle is created to support us in this process that we are all going through, um, which is a, a we experience a global transformation process. And many of us are aware of this and we see it all around us. And, and one of the main things that's occurring is the uh, completion of very uh, deep rooted uh, consciousness of separation, frequencies of separation. And we are moving into unity consciousness. And that is the ascension process. So in that process, we are dissolving any obstruction to this inner union, this experience of uh, oneness with the divine presence inside of us. So as we're going through this global transformation, going through our individual uh, ascension process, what occurs is these, these we, we start to receive more light, we're able to hold more light, and then we go through these purification processes where we're purifying distortions, purifying our perceptions that are no longer serving us, um, different ways that we polarize, uh, different ways that um, we perceive ourselves as less than, for example, or, or feelings of unworthiness or um, different types of, um, again, experiences of separation where we believe that we're in the delusion that we are separate from our own divinity. And that creates a tremendous amount of suffering. So we are learning, we, we are um, receiving skills on how to process that experience of separation and move into a more sustained, stabilized state of unity. So that's our main purpose here. And then to offer support in this process. So every week we gather here and we do this work. And, and, and so every week it's a little bit different, but the main, um, the main experience that, that we um, cultivate here is to work with our multi-dimensionality. So we're learning how to um, experience different dimensions where, so uh, we also talk about Gaia, the ascension of Gaia and how Gaia, the earth um, is functioning in different dimensions as well. And so we, we consciously tap into, plug into, anchor ourselves into the frequency of the ascended earth which we call Gaia. And this offers so much stability and support, revitalization, and um, where we, we learn to rejuvenate ourselves in moments, in, in these moments where, where we are purifying and releasing and completing 
uh, patterns that no longer serve us. So that's another big part of this. We're revitalizing ourselves, we're rejuvenating ourselves. So we go through a purification process and then we revitalize ourselves and come into alignment with the present moment. And in this process, we're working with different energy streams. We're doing energy work. So we will um, connect with uh, energy streams of high frequencies of light. And that will come forth in color. You may hear number codes. You will hear light language. And those are um, energy streams of sound vibrations that come forth specifically when um, I'm, I'm channeling uh, these ascended masters or they, they can be beings of light, uh, divine feminine forms sacred masculine forms. Some of these energies can be androgynous as well because we're going through um, what we call a um, the, the balancing of the polarities. So we can see we're having a lot of examples in the outer world of polarization. We all see it, we're all noticing it, we're all feeling it how there's this polarization and, um, and, and the perceptions, like there can be an event and the perceptions are extreme, extreme opposites and, uh, about the way that different people perceive the same event can be completely different and very extreme. And so we're seeing this more and more. And so again, an opportunity this is an opportunity. So in the quantum light practice, we go from, um, oh, being frustrated. Oh my gosh, there's so much division in the world. And you know, why is this happening? And why do we have to go through this? And why are those people acting this way? And what, you know, we go from that state of consciousness to awareness and turning our attention inward and taking a look at how that outer experience affects us, our inner experience. And then we do the work, we do the purification work. So it's like um, we move our attention from the outer world, projection where we're projecting this frustration or confusion um, onto the outer world. We're, we're turning our attention inward. I call this inner activism. This is what this is turning your attention inward and pulling the, back the projection from the outer world and really facing that division that we experience inside of ourselves, which is rooted in this belief that we are separate from the divine. And so it shows up that way. It'll show up in an event in the outer world and we'll get triggered. And that's the time, like that's the most, the best time because we're triggered, it's emotionally charged. And that's when we go inside and do this purification work. It's amazing. It's amazing the shifts that we can experience when we do that work consciously. So we'll do a little bit of that today and you'll, you'll receive some techniques on um, how to do that in the moment in your daily life. So we'll take a look at that. We're, today we're going to, um, work very profoundly with the violet flame. And this is a sacred uh, masculine ascended master that comes forth, Saint Germain, to offer us this very um, highly purifying frequency of light. And, um, and, then, and then there are other beings of light that will come forth as well to um, accelerate this process and offer different attunements and activations according to what the group needs. So again, your participation, you are contributing to this group, you're receiving what you need. And um, some of it may resonate and, and maybe something doesn't resonate. And so then you just allow it to be and, and let go. But each individual will be receiving um, an individual healing as well because you're contributing. When you come into this container, 
your energy is contributing to what occurs. And so we will all receive beautiful um, healing and alignment. So let's just dive right in because again, I always say we have the intention, we, we, we're, we're gonna work with a violet flame and then other things may occur that, that because it's a co-creation, we're co-creating with the divine. And as a channel, part of what I do is, is um, step back and allow the, the, the divine to express um, to us. And that's how, and, and again, when you hear the light language, um, this is a way that one of the purposes of the light language is to move us beyond the mind. So it's, it's again, just allowing the sounds, allowing your system to absorb the sounds without being too concerned about what does it mean and what does this mean and what is this and just allowing the these frequencies of sound to be absorbed by your system again if you choose um, because it assists us to detach from effort to detach from the mind to detach from trying to figure it out and so this uh, the light language accelerates the process. Um, because the mind is occupied, the mind is being soothed by the sound. And so the mind um, it moves out of the way, we can say. And then the divine energy has, has the space to come through and do the recalibration. So you will have the experience and it will make more sense as, as, you, are, um, as you have that experience. So, um, so let's just dive right in and see what comes forth for us today. So let's begin at the way that we always do with our grounding. And we can just close our eyes. And the moment you close your eyes, that's when you connect with the inner quantum field. That's the inner quantum field, the inner space inside of you. and breathe deeply into that area. And you can feel yourself settle in. It's just such a relief to settle into your body. Breathe into the heart. Just letting go of any effort. This is your time to receive, to relax. Take deep breaths, just settling in. You can feel your hips sink into the chair. And it's good to be in a vertical position because the energy, um, so the energy can move vertically. Um, so it's good to be in a seated position. And then you can feel your hips sink into the chair, your feet flat on the floor beneath you. Keep your spine straight and breathe. And then at the base of the spine, you're gonna make a connection between your body with a line of energy and the core of the earth. So we do that by intention and you can also visualize. So you just focus on the root chakra, which is at the base of the spine. And then you see a line or intend a line of energy 
to move from the base of the spine. And that line of energy moves through all the layers of the earth. and anchors into the core, the core, and we make the intention of the ascended Gaia, the crystalline grid of the earth. And then you can just empty any kind of, um, nervous energy or again any kind of effort and you just release it into the earth because the earth can receive your density the earth receives you and she recycles this energy and revitalizes herself with this energy it's neutral for her so we just allow ourselves to release And then as we anchor into the core of the earth, we say hello to Gaia and she responds and, and we feel this diamond white light rising up from the core of the earth and entering into our bodies. This is the earth energy, this frequency of ascension. And we allow that energy to rise up through the soles of our feet, in through the energy channels of the legs, rising up, clearing, cleansing, any obstruction in our energy channels. You can see that energy rising up from the root chakra at the base of the spine, rising up into the, um, in, into the energy centers of the body. The second chakra, the creative center, which is around the reproductive organs, it's rising up into the solar plexus, around the navel area, rising into the heart. And then you can see the crown of the head opening to receive the cosmic light. So the cosmic light comes in, a column of golden light comes in through the crown of the head. and infuses, this golden light infuses the pineal gland at the center of the head, the third eye. And this light moves into the throat area, the communication centers of the body and into the heart. And the earth energy and the cosmic light merge together and integrate inside of us. And this is how we come into an energetic alignment with the core of the earth, our own energy system, the root chakra, the creative center of the body, the solar plexus, the heart, the pineal gland, the, the crown, and the cosmic light. So this is our alignment. And from this place, we're solid. We have clarity, we have discernment. We're rooted into the earth, we're receiving the cosmic light. We're tapped into this inner wellspring of divine light. So this is where we're in our power, in this energetic alignment, focused on the inner presence, the divine presence within, And from this place, we respond to experiences in the outer world. So take deep breaths and we're just gonna to continue to receive this. It's, we're, we're running this energy through our bodies, experiencing the earth energy rising up, cosmic light entering in through the crown of the head and the infusion of these two energies at the heart. As above, so below. Heaven on earth.
ha na isena e shoko osurwa haina inishneke ishiki. So take deep breaths into the heart. And there can be, you may even feel a little bit of pressure because today we are going to be really um, receiving a transmission of unconditional love and support from the beings of light that support us from our inner divine presence and from Gaia. Unconditional love and support so breathe into the heart. So many of us in the past few days, maybe the past couple of weeks, as we do these transmissions, we receive these transmissions, we raise our frequency, we do the purification process. We are able to hold more and more light, holding more and more light. As we shared before, this, this uh, energy work, and more light, when more light comes into our system, this light illuminates our inner divine self. It illuminates the unconscious material inside of us. And this unconscious material is vibrating. It's unconscious. We don't know that it's there, but it's vibrating inside of us. And this unconscious vibrating material is usually very charged. That's why it's unconscious. Because it has to do with... Um, different um, experiences that went unconscious because we just didn't have the tools to process. It could be a trauma, it could be a shock. It can also be um, ancestral patterns. Again, many of these patterns are very unconscious. We, we don't know that they're there, but they are creating they are attracting experience through the law of attraction, which is a law of the universe. So like attracts like. So um, we may have, we may be, we may have an intention, for example, of uh, greater abundance. And so then we, we create an affirmation. I am abundant beyond my wildest dreams. I am prosperous. I, I can receive the abundance of the universe in this now moment. So we're repeating this to ourselves. We're doing our affirmations. But when we do that, it's very important to be aware what comes up. That affirmation will bring up your shadow. Anything that does not allow you to have that experience will come forth. So this is why sometimes we'll be doing our affirmations, but we're not seeing what we're not seeing a reflection in our everyday life, in the outer world. Or not that that the affirmation is not matching the 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 inner vibration. So when we work with the violet flame, this violet flame has the potency, it's a very high frequency of purification, to bring up those unconscious vibrations and cleanse them, clear, cleanse, purify, integrate into the oneness, into our system so that it's integrated and brought into present time, no longer charged. And then the affirmation can magnetize 
experiences without that obstruction, without that unconscious obstruction. So it's possible that we may have had an experience where we were doing an affirmation and it, or we made an intention or we made a vision board or the different things that, that we have learned how to do in order to create our experience. But the, these, these, what we're calling to us does not come to pass because of these unconscious, unprocessed um, energies inside of us. So take a deep breath into the heart. And there may be a very deep rooted vibration of, of that can be a pattern that we received usually from the early years when we're very, very vulnerable, very um, oh, just everything is so intense when you're uh, in, a, in a little body. <laughs> <laughs> the states of consciousness are very intense and because we, we don't we don't have a filter and so we're absorbing the energies of our parents of our educators of the culture in a in a very strong way and we don't have a lot of choice. We're, we're not conscious of it. It's like we're a sponge. So sometimes in this work, an, ener an energy may come, come up that has to do with um, something that your, one of your parents was experiencing or an energy pattern that was happening between um, members of your family. So let's just take a deep breath. And as I talk about these things, it's to bring them up for you individually. So breathe into the heart. Focus on the heart area. Breathe into the heart. And just allow what's there to reveal itself. You may feel a little bit of pressure at some point there in the heart. As we're opening, as the heart opens. And so you breathe into that pressure. If you feel a little bit of pressure, if you feel a little bit of um, unease, you can breathe into that area of the body. And just allow it to be there and to reveal itself, to gently reveal itself. It's like the, the heart, when we work with these frequencies of light, the heart begins to open, to flower, okay? And so when you see it, when you observe a rose blossoming, we don't pull the petals open. We don't force the petals to open before their time. We allow the heart to blossom like a rose. We allow the petals to unfold and to reveal themselves to us. So gently we, we, we observe the energy that's coming forth in the heart. You may have, it may be a memory. You may see yourself as a child. It may be a very um, visceral state of consciousness that you feel. So just allow whatever is coming up for you to come forth. It's a light language transmission. 
Kokoro a anai shinakeli. And Kuan Yin, the goddess Kuan Yin is coming forth. And Kuan Yin is the mother, the divine mother of compassion. And she's coming forth to support us with nourishment, with the divine mother, nurturing, love, support. So take a deep breath. She, she reveals her presence in your heart. And we're working with the vibration of worthiness, being worthy to receive. And sometimes deep rooted into the heart, we've had experiences where we have felt rejected or felt judgment about ourselves. We've compared ourselves to others and it may feel like, like we're not good enough. We're not as good as, as these other people. All of those kinds of energies. And many of them became um, implanted in our heart when we were very young children. So you can see yourself as a child. and allow your, your heart to receive this inner presence of the Divine Mother who is coming forth to heal you, to nourish you. So take deep breaths into the heart as this these um, their states of consciousness from childhood where we um, absorbed frequencies of separation that had to do with judging ourselves as not enough or maybe we made a mistake and we were scolded and we felt really bad about ourselves. I'm terrible, I'm terrible, I'm awful. And these energies got um, stuck in a way inside of us. We were judging ourselves. We were making mistakes, which is, was a natural part of growing up. That's how we learn. So taking deep breaths, experiencing this vibration of forgiveness coming forth from Kuan Yin. And just very gently, because these, um, these energies may have been very frightening as a child, may have been devastating as a child. And what happens is, is that when that energy is so intense, this, this uh, like self-rejection or self-judgment, it's like a part of us, a part of our innocence is fragmented. And so we're call in this process, we're calling back those fragmented parts of ourselves we're calling them back. And bringing them into alignment. So these parts of ourselves that may have our gifts encoded in them. Our uniqueness, our gifts and talents our perceptions that are unique to us, our, our certain skills, 
that are unique to us, your, your signature essence. We're calling back your signature essence. Koko Unua, your innocence, your purity. That part of you that hasn't been touched by any of those um, challenging experiences. Koko Unua, Anaini Shinake Shikisukurua. Just allowing Kuan Yin to soothe you, to nurture you. And you can see this a beautiful pink and gold color coming in through the crown. It's a facet of light. It's a vibration of Kuan Yin, a healing vibration. And that, that energy, this pink gold light is coming in through the crown of your head. and being absorbed by your body like a sponge, like a sponge, you're absorbing this nurturing um, energy of the Divine Mother. This unconditional love, unconditional support. And this energy is cleansing everything that's coming up in the altar of your heart. To be transformed. Recalibrated. Into the present moment. And then we're going to bring forth the violet flame. And the violet flame is a, a uh, purifying frequency of light. So you're going to visualize amethyst, this, this violet fire coming in through the crown of the head and like a whirlpool moving through the center of the head, the third eye, upgrading all the neural pathways of the, the thought processes of the brain. You're receiving this violet fire. Completing patterns of disempowerment, patterns of, of experiencing yourself as unworthy, as less than, completing, if you choose, completing those patterns and you make the intention, I am completing those patterns of separation and including them into the oneness. And receiving this violet fire that's recalibrating my system to the present moment, the vibration of unconditional love and unconditional support. This violet flame is moving through the throat area in the way that you communicate, the way that you communicate with others clearing the filters, dismantling these power structures of power over, power under, recalibrating into the experience of equality, engaging with others from a place of equality, so divine to divine, peer to peer, light being to light being. Equality. So this energy, this, this violet flame is dismantling um, experiences of hierarchy, power over, power under, structures, bringing those um, structures into a, a recalibration to 
equality, experiencing yourself as equal. And so this affects the way that you express yourself. It's very different when you are coming from a place of wholeness and equality and equanimity. You express yourself very differently. Your energy is very different than if you're coming from a place of, of being, um, of feeling like you're unworthy and less than and and um, that you're not good enough and that you're not enough. Okay, so that's a very different way of expressing. And so then you attract very different experiences. So again, in the quantum light practice, we work with vibration. So that we're coming, we do the purification process so that we are coming from a place of wholeness, equanimity, grounding, clarity and humility and humility in the sense of you know who you are you're not less than you're not more than you are you a divine being of light incarnate Sokuonua, divine being of light incarnate in the physical vessel in this now moment So allowing that violet flame to sweep through the throat area, removing any kind of energetic cords, that we may have placed there, that, that our culture may have placed there about the way that you express yourself, you know, what's appropriate. Um, you know, any kind of conditioning around that. And so we move from a separation frequency of, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Saying that, you know, that kind of energy that is, is it, that energy, like it humiliates you, it, it tones you down, puts you in your place, okay? So we're, we are healing that frequency, which many of us received in our education, in our homes, in our relationships, you know, frequencies of being dismissed, of not being heard, of, of being humiliated in this way. Like, who do you think you are? That kind of thing. When you're, maybe there was a time where you were really excited about an expression or a project and, and you're sharing it with friends or family and, and, and the response was, you can't do that. Who do you think you are? You think you can do that? That kind of energy. So allowing that to come forth into the violet, violet flame. Take deep breaths and receive this light language transmission, which is Purpose is to dismantle those patterns. Deep breaths. And then we're tapping into, we're activating the frequency of unconditional love unconditional support, the vibration of hum not humiliated, but humility, knowing who you are. I am a divine being of light. This is to who I am. It's a given. <clears throat> it's nothing that we need to earn. 
It's nothing that we have to prove ourselves to have. It is a given, it's who you are, it's your birthright. You are a divine being of light. Nothing more, nothing less. This is who you are, a divine being, you are divine. So receiving that unconditional love, unconditional acceptance, and surrender to the divine being that you are. This inner presence of divinity that is inside of you, vibrating inside of you, we start to identify with that inner presence. And then receiving joy, this ray of joy, light, bliss, this delight, this feeling of, of lusciousness. It's like a sensual feeling of being in the body experiencing the senses. So we're tapping into those energy streams. Recalibrating the senses towards the divine. So we experience the divine. We see the divine, we feel the divine, we hear the divine, we breathe in the divine. Stabilizing in the frequencies of union, unity consciousness. So take deep breaths. Allow yourself to receive. Allow this a column of, of golden pink light. This is this unconditional vibration of the Divine Mother. And that column of light is descending into the crown chakra and moving through all the energy centers of the body. So anywhere that you released, anywhere where there is a vulnerability because you've just released a pattern. You're filling it up with golden, this golden pink light of love, pure love, acceptance, devotion to your own divine self, surrender, the inner divinity. And you're just receiving this love and this light into the inner quantum field. And this light is absorbed by every set down to the tiny electron, neutron is absorbing this light. Every cell of your body is receiving. And that light is infusing your heart and emanating throughout. It's illuminating the inner quantum field. And it's moving into the solar plexus, the power center. And then the creative center of the body is being filled with this golden pink light, love, 
unconditional support. Surrender, surrendering your burdens to the divine presence. And then this part of this creative center, this area of the body that generates the creative life force is grounding into the root, into the earth. So be aware of your grounding. And you can let go of that connection that was there and create a new one in the new recalibrated frequency of light and anchor into the core of the earth. offering so much gratitude to the ascended Gaia. So much gratitude. And she's acknowledging us, she's offering her gratitude to us for doing this work. Because the more we come into alignment, the more we support the divine presence in this global transformation the more that we're in our wholeness and then we can offer support. From a place of wholeness. So it's very beneficial because we're no longer contributing to the wounds. We're no longer contributing to the polarization. We're holding space for divine transformation from a place of wholeness, equanimity, and joy, because the more we do this purification work, the happier we get. That's the benefit. We get very happy and things become very light. So that is the big benefit in our everyday life. We start to feel this contentment. We start to feel this fulfillment. And then through the law of attraction, we're attracting that kind of experience that is very fulfilling. It's very supportive. We start to see that vibration reflected in the outer world. This is how we contribute to the global transformation. So no, on the in a very powerful way. We're no longer contributing to the wound we are contributing to the wholeness. We're contributing to the ascended frequency. We are, we are um, contributing to the state of unity consciousness. And it becomes stronger and it grows and it expands. So it's an amazing service that we're doing in this work, in this circle. So we're being acknowledged for being here. We're being honored. So receive that blessing.
Soskuro soroaha a nai inish neko o soroporoa. Soskuro noaha a nai. So again, offering gratitude as this transmission comes to a completion. Offering gratitude to this violet frequency of light that we can call on at any moment in our everyday life. If we start to feel some density, if we start to feel like we're moving into a separation frequency, call forth the violet flame. Call forth divine support. You know how to do it. And receive that frequency. It may um, sometimes as we're deepening the this uh, energy of separation may come forth as a physical pain, physical discomfort, and we can use again it, it no longer because it no longer has the story. What happens is is that we neutralize the story, and it's no longer emotionally charged, but it can come up as a physical discomfort. And so then we focus on that area of the body and we allow, we bring forth the violet flame and we allow that energy to, to uh, dismantle, to unravel that physical um, discomfort or obstruction. So this is a very powerful tool to work with in the coming days. And we're calling forth, you have the Divine Mother coming forth there. And she comes forth in many different forms. Today, she came forth as Kuan Yin, just a very beautiful, gentle vibration. Gentle and powerful, super powerful. So we can call on Kuan Yin when we're feeling um, out of sorts or feeling confused or feeling lonely. That's the perfect time to call forth Kuan Yin. I need your support. I need to feel, I want to feel completely supported and loved in this moment. And she will come forth to support you. So offering so much gratitude for the Divine Money Mother for revealing herself to us in this transmission, in this beautiful and powerful form. And we're gonna visualize a sphere of golden light pulsating above your head. And this is your own divine essence, your own creative life force. And you allow that pulsating sphere of light to descend into your body, in through the crown of the head, And this sphere of light holds the codes, the ascension codes, sealing out all that, that you've released and completed. And activating new frequencies of light. I will continue to to reveal themselves and support you for the rest of this incarnation from this place of wholeness. Equanimity. Peace. And joy.
align with the divinity that is you. So how is everybody doing? It's 12, 12. <laughs> hmm. Beautiful. So just continue to integrate. You'll continue to integrate. You'll continue to um, experience these divine frequencies of light and be very gentle. The transmission today was very gentle and loving and kind. And that's what we all need right now, is loving, kind, forgiveness, forgiving ourselves, forgiving ourselves when we've, we've um, allowed ourselves to, to um, polarize. It's okay, it's part of the process. So we're coming into this alignment very gently, very lovingly. So that's how you treat yourself today. With so much love, so much respect, acknowledging this powerful work that we're doing together. Not everybody can do it. So you're very strong, you're very powerful to be here. It's an amazing initiation to go from projection in the outer world to this, this, this work of coming into union inside of us. It's a very powerful initiation that we're all experiencing. So I thank you for being here in this beautiful circle. And I hope to see you next week. We'll be back again next week. And um, let's see, I'm going to, if you came in on uh, Meetup, I'm gonna go ahead and send you this, this replay uh, through the messaging system. I will also post it in um, YouTube. So if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, it would be a good time to subscribe because there's an archive of transmissions there of all different um, intentions and topics and um, that you may enjoy exploring. So you can just um, go to my website, Quantum Light Practice, Dot com, and there you will see a link to my YouTube channel. And there's a blog there called Gaia Art Bar. So I have, have been, um, it's a, um, it's a place, you know, I, I post a lot of beautiful visual images and I write a blog. So there's lots of ways to connect and to receive support. And, um, and then also I am starting a new course uh, where I'll be doing live transmissions. So it's a virtual pilgrimage. So you can check that out because there's a special offer um, on my website for that course. And you can find it um, under Green Mother Activations. There's a category there on my website of Green Mother Activations and you'll find out all about that. That's starting October 23rd. So you may want to check that out. So um, it was wonderful to be with you today. And I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you so much. Does anybody have anything they want to share or, or um, any question or anything before we sign off? Well, it looks like everybody is vibing. High vibing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Enjoy your day and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.